Tyler Murphy from Weathersfield, Connecticut. Graduated from the University of Florida. Got my master's at Boston College. Played college football for five years. And a member of the Pittsburgh Steelers. You know, playing for the University of Florida, you know, coming from Connecticut, how big of a deal was that? It was a big deal, um, you know, just because it's not, um, you know, it doesn't happen often with somebody from Connecticut, um, you know, makes it to play big time football. You know, people look at Connecticut as a basketball state, so, um, you know, I took, you know, pride in being from Connecticut and made sure I, you know, tried to represent, you know, the state well. Did you feel like you played your best football at Boston College? Definitely. Um, you know, I, I was able to just, um, you know, go to a program where they needed me and I was able to be myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you had your best game against USC. What did that feel like? Um, oh, jeez. <laughs> You know, just being a representative of Boston College, you know, you had your best game against USC. Is that when you realized that you might have an opportunity to go to another level? Um, yeah, I think that's kind of when things started to, you know, really come in perspective that I was able to, um, you know, I'm going to get a shot to play at the next level. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it, it felt good, mm -hmm. um, you know, not only to, to play as well as I did, but, you know, there was a lot of people from, you know, the state of Connecticut that came out that game to, to support and represent. So. Um, you know, it felt like, um, you know, it was bigger than just myself. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I felt like, you know, uh, as being part of the state of Connecticut, you know, we, we all did that against USC, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it felt good. How important is a quarterback to, you know, a football team? Um, you know, it's very important because, you know, you see as a leader, um, you know, you're the guy, the, the general that's, that's leading the troops. Um, you know, you're in the front line and, um, you know, if you – you got to know what you're doing. You got to be in the best shape of your life. You got to mentally be sharp, um, you know, on and off the field. So, um, you know, everybody's looking towards you, you know, when adversity hits. So, um, you know, you have to be, you know, calm, cool, and collective and be able to lead guys and, um, you know, get the job done. That's it. Down again. Up. That's it. Down again. Up. That's it. Down again. Push. That's it. Down again. Up. That's it. Down again. Push. There we go. Down again. Up. Get up high again. Push. Don't make me start you over. There we go. Ten seconds, there we go. Five, there we go. Four, there we go. Three, get it up. Two, get it up. Get it up. Just give me your thoughts about what happened here today. Um, you know, I came in, flew in back from Pittsburgh yesterday, or I'm sorry, two days ago. Um, you know, I went to go check my cousin Brian out. Um, you know, just say what's up. And he kind of asked me, you know, what I was doing for workouts and stuff like that. And, um, you know, I told him I was doing a lot of band stuff, you know, just trying to get right, get in shape for training camp. Definitely wanted to come check it out and, you know, there's everything, you know, people said it would be and, and more. Um, you know, yeah. it's kind of hard to describe what you're actually going to go through. You know, I got a lot of warnings, you know, from from you and, and my cousin, but, uh, you know, it was real. It was. Uh, you went through a series of different drills today. And um, being the quarterback, you have to maintain your flexibility. Right. Yep. Um, some of the drills you did was just basically using your own body strength and using the band resistance. How do you feel that helps you, you know, on the field or just stay in better, better shape? Um, you know, I, I think, you know, other than the physical aspect, you know, that, that, that was very difficult. Um, you know, to put that in words would be tough. But I think, you know, I think I gained a lot mentally, um, you know, just being able to push myself, um, you know, to the limit and, you know, just really, um, you know, you constantly fighting yourself uh, because, you know, you're telling yourself, you know, you stop, you know, you're hurting and, you know, you kind of just want to chill and relax, but, you know, mentally you got to stay strong and keep pushing and, um, you know, you go put your body through some things, you know, it's never been through before and, um, you know, if that's what it takes to, you know, be great, you know, that's something I'm willing to do, so. Um, How would you describe that boxing drill? Uh, that boxing drill is rough. I mean, just being able to, to stay stabilized with your lower body and mm -hmm. core and, mm -hmm. and really use, you know, your, your arms and your back to just, you know, 
consistently, you know, punch over and over again with the bands pulling back, you know, that that was real. That was <laughs> that was difficult. But yeah. you know, I felt like, you know, I, I got a lot better doing that. Yeah. And then the overhead dress the overhead press drill. Yep. Where you had you pushing the the weight yeah. up like that. That was tough. Yeah, that was because you know that that that's like a full body workout. So, you know, as soon as something in your body goes dead, you know, it, it it's difficult. Um, you know, it just you, know, you just gotta keep going, keep pushing yourself, and that's what I tried to do. Uh, perfect, but you know, I felt like I got better. Mm -hmm. And how would you describe Coach Calvin? Hi, mom. Oh, um, I mean, high energy, you know, high intensity. Um, you know, you can tell he knows what he's doing. He loves what he's doing, um, and you know, he's just trying to, you know, to push you to to go further than you think you can be pushed and further than you think you can go. So, um, you know, he, he's the real deal. Yeah. It's a scale and everything, and everything is system. So, watch this. First two, three years, you know, we 1.5, whatever. The higher we go, let's just equate it to the more we'll make. So watch this. We want to get to the 10, 15 million a year bracket, so we got to go higher with that. You go going, okay, I got it. You understand the mechanics, you got it, but this last set, that's it. This is giving it all you got. Today you had like a Willie Beeman moment. <laughs> <laughs> where you had that, where you had the Earl. Yeah. What did, what did that do to you mentally? Um, you know, it just, it, it, it really just, you know, shows how far you can go, how far you can push yourself. You know what I mean? If, if mentally you can push yourself to, to exhaustion or, or past that, to the point where you know you got to throw up, you know you. You you making gains, um, you know. I hate to throw up, but yeah. you know, just um, you know, when it happens, I know I push myself mm -hmm. as hard as I could have pushed myself. Yeah. Um, you know, I was Seven, able to, six, um, you know, make room five, to continue to get better and push yeah. myself to Three, further five, limits. So, two, so you know, um, it wasn't fun, but yeah. you know, that's part of the working. It's transformed. True. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of things happen here. Mm. How do you feel this can prepare you going into your rookie season playing with the Pittsburgh Steelers? Um, you know, Coach Tomlin, you know, who's the head coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers, always says, you know, um, you know, the best guys are highly conditioned. Um, you know, it doesn't matter the position, how many years they play in the league, the experience. You know, if you're highly conditioned, you're going to be able to outwork your opponent, consistently play in and play out. And, um, you know, that's that's the number one thing he wants guys to come back to training camp is just being highly conditioned. And, um, you know, I feel like, you know, this will get me where I need to be. So when I do go back to, uh, you know, to, to the Steelers, you know, I'll be, I'll be highly conditioned and ready to work. Gotcha. This is Tyler Murphy, uh, member of the Pittsburgh Steelers. I've been transformed. Band resistance training with the Bandmaster. It's some of the most intense training you've ever experienced. Follow me on Instagram, at Coach Kelvin, K-E-L-V-I-N. And I'm going to tell you right now, I welcome you to our home. Welcome to Transform.